This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of top 25 PC indie games is Terraria, a game your little brother loves to play when Minecraft isn't around. This 2D adventure puzzler takes you to a world brimming with infinite creativity. Craft, explore, fight, and survive in its universe. The world is your own canvas. Create it. It receives a play score of 8.77. Number 24 is Torchlight 2. This award-winning action RPG is coming back for more. The world feels bigger and badder than ever. Be the chosen hero and save the world. Choose from among its four diverse classes and go on an adventure of a lifetime with you or with your friends. It has a play score of 8.77. Number 23 is Pony Island, your one-stop shop when it comes to rogue codes and out-of-the-box puzzle solutions. Daniel Mullen's Puzzle Adventure lets you sift through a wide range of digital errors to proceed on the next level. If you think this game is all about ponies, you're definitely wrong. It has a play score of 8.79. Number 22 is Mini Metro. Dinosaur Polo Club's simple yet complex game about mass transit is so aesthetically pleasing you feel like you're watching an art show instead of playing. Create the most efficient transit system and watch your pathways converge in minimalistic fashion. Connect them from country to country and try not to break it. It has a play score of 8.79. Number 21 is The Talos Principle. If you're looking for some philosophical enlightenment in the video game, this one's for you. Devolver Digital's game is all about puzzles, puzzles, and more puzzles. Get drawn into its architectural wonders and technological delights. It's a first-person puzzler that teases the brain and rewards it. It has a play score of 8.80. Number 20 is Broforce, another one of Devolver Digital's highly stylized games that made it into the indie mix. Follow a group of underfunded yet overpowered military people and blow things sky high. Filled with destructible objects, hardcore weapons, and a multiplayer mode to satiate your anarchic desires. This game is perfect, with a play score of 8.83. Number 19 is Super Hexagon, a game that's all about attention, momentum, and precision. It's a mix between a rhythm game and an action game. Dodge the twisting geometric shapes in pure satisfaction. It's highly addictive and visually pleasing, and has a play score of 8.83. Number 18 is Trying 2 a sequel that exceeds its original. This puzzle game is an open-ended masterpiece that challenges you to make your own choices. Choose from its variety of characters and tools and bask in its gorgeous, detailed fantasy world. It has a play score of 8.84. Number 17 is Owlboy. D-Pad Studios' beautiful high-bit adventure takes you to the skies. Owlboy soars high with such grace it feels like a love letter for Metroidvania fans. Follow a mute owl in his journey to save his kingdom from destruction. Developed for 8 years, it was surely worth the wait, with a play score of 8.85. Number 16 is Transistor. Supergiant's take on a futuristic world takes into form with a second major installment. Follow Red in her quest to find her missing voice in a city filled with rogue machines. Use her sentient sword and take out enemies with dazzling colors. Its combat is as intense as its soundtrack. It has a play score of 8.87. Number 15 is What Remains of Edith Finch. Giant Sparrow's walking simulator feels like a AAA game masked with indie. Powered by the Unreal Engine, explore a creepy Washington estate and uncover the mysteries behind your family's mysterious death. It feels like playing a book instead of reading it. It has a play score of 8.88. Number 14 is Nuclear Throne. It's like the perfect roguelike adventure in a post-apocalyptic world. Face mutated creatures in this radioactive mess. Choose from a wide variety of characters and weapons to dominate this irradiated world. Can you make it to the nuclear throne? It has a play score of 8.88. Number 13 is Inside. Play Dead's latest entry in their monochromatic side-scrolling adventure returns with more grit. Play as a boy running away from a seemingly demented society where humans are controlled. Solve puzzles in its fascinating Orwellian world. Run away from dogs, mermaids, and evil men because this game has a play score of 8.89. Number 12 is Legend of Grimrock 2. Step into a classic dungeon crawling adventure with a modern twist. Survive in the dangerous Isle of Nex and face off with dark creatures that lurk beneath the shadows. Its gameplay is a grid-based combat that challenges logic and strategy. Join the team with your friends and live to tell the tale in The Legend of Grimrock. It has a play score of 8.89. Number 11 is The Stanley Parable. An interactive first-person game that occasionally breaks the fourth wall. Wait, not occasionally, it's all the time. Follow the life of Stanley in his monotonous life as he gets narrated to death with a mysterious voice. It's a game about offices? Life? I don't know, it has a play score of 8.93. Number 10 is Shovel Knight. Yacht Club game side-scrolling adventure digs deeper into a story about heroism and bravery. Save your beloved from an evil sorceress and use your powerful shovel to plow down enemies to their death. Solve puzzles, beat bosses, and witness a beautiful 8-bit adventure. It has a play score of 8.94. Number 9 is Kerbal Space Program. 
a game that's so creative it's not that easy. Take on an astronomical trip with your adorable Kerbals and create the perfect rocket to launch you to space. The game is widely acclaimed due to its realistic physics and deep engineering content. Go try it out, it's rocket science. It has a play score of 8.95. Number 8 is Downwell. Another one of Devolver Digital's published games, this classic-style platformer takes you on a dark descent into a mysterious well. Equipped with powerful gun boots, use your trusty weapons to vaporize enemies and collect treasures along the way. It has a play score of 8.95. Number 7 is Gunpoint, a game that's all about being stealthy, tactical, and precise. Take on the role of a badass spy and deal with missions at your own volition. Trick the guards, hack the surveillance, take down important targets, and finish the mission without making a single noise. It has a play score of 8.98. Number 6 is Stardew Valley, an adorable life simulator game created by one man. Chucklefish Games Indie Hit manages to win the hearts of many people. Escape the urban life and start with your very own farmstead in Stardew Valley. Meet memorable people, plant, farm, explore, and live a good life. It has a play score of 8.99. Number 5 is Crypt of the Necrodancer, an award-winning indie game from Brace Yourself Games. This is a mixture between two notable genres, rhythm and roguelike. Get down with the game's beat while battling out evil monsters in its randomly generated levels. You can even use your own songs. It has a play score of 9.05. Number 4 is Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Who doesn't know about our poor Isaac? This roguelike shooter puts you into its mother's basement filled with ugly monsters and randomly generated levels. Use the power of your tears and fend off these pesky creatures and survive the harsh torment. Rebirth has all the good content and has a play score of 9.05. Number 3 is Mark of the Ninja, a game that's all about the true stealth experience. Relive the days of classic side-scrolling ninja games and be one with the shadows. Outsmart your opponents in its free-flowing gameplay back with gorgeous visuals. It's a game that rewards the hardcore players. It has a play score of 9.09. .09. Number 2 is Undertale, an RPG game that doesn't really take itself too seriously. Step into a magical world filled with hopes and dreams in Toby Fox's very own game. Be a young boy embroiled in a seemingly vague quest. Meet memorable characters along the way, jam into its tunes, and fill your journey with determination. It has a play score of 9.18. And the best PC indie game of all time is none other than Ori and the Blind Forest, an action-adventure platformer that deserves all the praise. Control a young forest creature named Ori in his quest to restore decaying forest. Gameplay is a fast-paced platformer filled with bright lights and gorgeous visuals. It's filled with so many feels that you can't help but empathize with the game's heart. It has a play score of 